Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome to our special look at the Banner Saga, uh, based on Viking lore, or Norse lore. Mm -hmm. And uh, this game has been described as kind of an adult Fire Emblem, so your actions in this game actually uh, happen with the narrative. So characters will come into your life if you're not careful. They can die. They can betray you. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's... So your actions actually impact what happens in the story. Yep. This is the first Banner Saga. Uh, two is said to be coming sometime this summer. And the final Banner Saga 3 will also be released this year. So you can get the whole Banner Saga collection on the Nintendo Switch. Awesome. Yeah. Pretty cool. Special thanks to the developer for sending us a copy of this game. The story in Banner Saga changes based on the choices you make. You will occasionally switch between lead characters witnessing the story from their perspective. Cool. The gods are dead. In their wake, man and giant survived through a tenuous alliance driving black destroyers called Dirge Deep into the northern wastes. Now is an era of growth and trade. Life goes on. Should have probably had a narrator for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got to hear you say it. It has been several long months on the road. The first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand, largest of the trade cities on the Val human borders, and our last collection before returning to the capital. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Some of the men in the caravan have taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. We have been warned by stranded travelers about brigands on the path through Richhorn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. So Vikings don't like winter. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah, it's got some... Cool animation. Whoa! Um, Those are giants! giants. Alright, you've arrived just in time. The chieftain in red and his men are now looking at a tougher fight than they bargained for. Use R, or whatever that is, to pan around your surroundings. Zoom in and out by holding down ZR and ZL. Press A to continue. Alright, so this is where the Fire Emblem stuff comes into play. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, these portraits show the order of initiative. Taking turns from left to right, your allies are blue and the enemy is red. It's your turn to act. So yeah, it, it looks very Fire emblem -y. And, um... Movement happens before action. This ring shows your shield banger is active. The blue tiles around him show where he can move. Some characters feel more 
reptiles than others. The horned allies are a race of giants called Varl, who take up four tiles each, while humans fill a single tile. This can have a huge impact on your strategy. Um, use the L stick to choose a tile, then press A to confirm the move. Move your shield banger here. Enemy tiles are red and pulse as if the enemy is if they pulse if the enemy is in range. To target a nearby enemy, use the left stick L to uh, select the attack icon, then press the A button to target the enemy. So yeah, you're yeah. I don't know. So you can choose different stuff, okay. Uh, strength counts as both health and damage, and a loss of two strength means you'll now do two less damage. If strength falls to zero, the character falls in battle. Armor blocks strength and damage, but can be reduced. Okay. Okay, enemy okay. has only five I, strength remaining. Alright, I, 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 you got I, it. I just want to play a game. Sorry. Use the L and A to select the fist to attack strength, then press A to confirm. Good job. So you're actually playing as the giant right now. Yep. He's down. All right. All right. After taking an action, your turn ends. Next up is the enemy. Turns always alternate, even if you are outnumbered. Despite being at full strength, the chieftain will do little damage against your shield banger's high army armor. You are a giant. Now it's your Warhawk's turn. He appears to be out of range of these enemies, but all characters can use willpower to boost their actions. Willpower is a limited resource. Use it wisely. Okay, move on to the gold tiles, and then you can yeah hit those guys. Standard attacks only affect a single enemy, but your Warhawk has a special ability that gives him a unique advantage. So your menu... Use move and then select the purple and use your tempest. Allows them to slam multiple enemies at once. So the purple can do and then confirm with A. Select, um, it says, I believe on the game pad. So you can select both. Huh. Good job. This made quick work of the chieftain's bodyguards. And then there's only one enemy left. Players enter pilgrim pillage mode. Yes! During pillage, each character moves in order, and there are no more guaranteed turns. Check the initiative. So you're in pillage mode now, or you're going to. Or no, it says when there's one character left, you are entering pillage mode. Looks like the chieftain is in some trouble. Your shield banger won't be able to finish the job with a normal attack, but willpower can be used to boost your damage. Use L and A to do something. I didn't miss it. I'm trying to do. There we go. Mm. Victory! Hooray! Yeah. I just want to see some more of that cool animation. Like a rabid wolf, that one. How did it come to this? We fool ourselves believing that peace will last. My grandfather built all this from a poor fishing village, you know. He watched the gods die, watched the chaos that followed, watched man and var slaughter each other, even before the dreads arose. All we've done is traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more dreads to war against, we war against ourselves. This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair. This one had men waylaying merchants, both north and south of the city, strangling trade quite well, I would add, though he denied it to his last. This sort of wolf doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new head. I am in a bad way, my friend. Help me finish this fight, and I'll gladly send you on your way with double our king's tithe. Take any men you need. They're loyal. I promise you that. They will meet you down in the proving grounds. It's a great story, though, with, mm. like, amazing cinematic quality. Chapter 1. Only the sun has stopped.
Yeah, I'm totally into this already. Hmm. All right, you were approached by a familiar man who walks in step with you as you're leaving the Great Hall. He cuts to the chase. His name is Eric. Um, okay. Eric, steward of Strand, I manage the governor's business. Ubin, isn't it? Um. Oh, okay. Uh, the government governor tells me that you'll be giving us a hand. Seems a bit chaotic. What did you have in mind? Scalf. Uh, scal things that you didn't hack up in the Great Hall scattered after you took out their chieftain. The governor just wants to make sure they stay down, was hoping you'd join me at the marketplace by the docks. If there's anyone left to worry about, I know who can tell us. So, I had choices and, there. Yep, and I'm just reading to save Luke's eyesight. Um, I'm really... Oh, I got the little... Vi see the little Viking ships there, which I'm really into. Uh, let me handle this. Uh, you meander through rows of open-faced houses and eroded stalls. Colored canvases flap on a briny current. One man in particular blanches. I mean, yes, as you approach. Hod, I'm not in the mood today. For what? Talking to an idiot. The Skullfing's chieftain bled out about an hour ago, Hod, so when you tell me what rats the rest of them crawled back into, nobody's going to try to kill you this time. I don't talk to... I mean, they don't talk to me. Hmm. We need some help here? I don't know. Hod, I had a change of heart. I hope you do give us a... I hope you do give us a hard time. Hod sweats visibly, fumbling with some dirty trinkets on his table. Oh, okay, we're intimidating him. Wait, just uh, buy one of these. If everybody thinks I'm getting worked over every week, how am I supposed to know much? Just a little food money, yeah? Intimidate him or pay him. You toss a sliver of silver on the table. Both men look at you with surprise. Hod gestures meekly to a variety of junk from his stall. Take whatever you like. Only thing I'd like is the name of a place. A uh, nobleman up by the east wall, but that was months ago, last I know. Hod skulks away with a wave of Eric's hand, gathering things from his hovel, disappearing for a while until this blows over your figure. Your bodyguard steps forward. Are we done here? Gnolf, were you wearing green back at the Great Hall? No, uh, just bought him while you were walking around. Why? No. Uh, you look like a frog, no reason, or they look good. Look like a frog. Better than an eggplant. Gnolf goes off to look at more stalls. Yeah, I'm the worst voice actor of these Viking voices ever. Eric, that man of yours seems unreliable at best. A blind dog wouldn't trust Hod, but, or had, whatever, he used to be a scalping. If they're licking their wounds, they've probably gone to old haunts, not new ones. Nobleman is a mead hall. Best I can tell, the name's ironic. Listen, I know a guy who would love to put a few of these skulls in the ground. I'm going to find him. I'll meet you there. Shouldn't we have an approach of some sort? Which one would you want to do? After I'm done. Uh, I'm not sure. Nobleman is halfway up the hill towards the Great Hall. You won't miss it. Just make sure the governor remembers his promise. Double the usual tithe. I'll remember him. Remind. I'll remind him. There we go. So, um, yeah. The uh, horns on the giants, pretty cool, actually. Uh, I, so many little touches already that I'm, like, 
remembering from different things about Norse okay, culture. Okay, so we arrive at the front door. Uh, let's get it over with. I'll point them out, Eric says over his shoulder. Ready? They, they ran to a meat house, says Valgard. I'll be surprised if they could stand up straight right now. Okay, here we go. So they just had alcohol or whatever. Belgard boots the front door open so hard it won't close again without repair. As you enter the hall, Eric is ready at the head of the table with his axe drawn, wide-eyed, drunken, scoffing, scrambled to find their own weapons, turning tables and mead stains in the process. Steins. Whoops. I think we just made like a, like a tavern fight. Bar fight. Aye. <laughs> Ready. It's cool that you get to be the giants, though. This is cool. Uh, yeah, I'm totally... This is really awesome. Alright, so... So we're actually going to... It's interesting, because some of the stuff we're doing is like... I mean, it's kind of... I don't know if it's Batman-y, but we have to intimidate people for information and stuff. Um, yeah. Still. How does that move him here? Um, yeah, actually, uh, just since I always research things about Norse culture, things like that, um, there are a lot of people that say the, you know, the the helmets and the idea of the helmets with horns and stuff, um, actually was something that they kind of copied off of the giants that they believed that they saw with the horns. So that's kind of cool that they actually have the giants with the horns in here. Um, and like a lot of people, the reason why they really liked the horns and stuff is because it like, uh, as I remember it, like symbolized knowledge for them because the giants were really knowledgeable, really superhumanly smart, full of uh, all kinds of knowledge. Uh -huh. I don't know what this guy does, Eric. Just seems like he's a, a business guy. Yeah. And that's why I'm really glad they put the giants in here, because uh, Odin and Thor were said to be part giant. How's he doing for health, this guy? And I can't remember the Norse word for giant, but I think there's several different words for it. Um, I'm not sure. So I think you have to move... Yeah towards the gold area to get a hit in somebody. Do you want me to try it, or do you like playing it? That's, that's interesting. I think it... Is it complicated to figure out, like, all the different moves you have to do and stuff, or...? No. <laughs> Defense. And then... Empress. Nope, I can only attack them one at a time. Ah! But, yeah, I found that very interesting that the giants were actually... We are working with the giants on our team to actually help that chieftain, which kind of shows that, you know, some giants were kind of helping pe uh, humans, and then there were, like, the really big uh, giants... <laughs> That were like I think they were called the devourers or something, and those those ones were like not helping humans at all. They were like trying to destroy humanity. And stuff. Yeah, it's just a farmer. Yeah. Renown went up. Uh oh. It's hard for me to figure out if we're bad guys or good guys, but I feel like we're on the side that we have to be on, which is our own. Aye. I don't know. <laughs> we have to defend ourselves. Uh-oh. Okay, now I should be able to use the Tempest ability. Yep, he definitely looks like a frog with his new green outfit. No offense. Here it is. Why won't he let me... Tempest strike. Yeah, so, yeah, I'll be able to do all, several people at once. Hey, don't go after my dude. Not cool. Bring him to help out. 
Ja, haar. Uh oh. And those people oh. are just standing there watching. What? How did you get to attack me so much? That's not right. Don't do that. Oh. So who who knows? Look, maybe there's part giant in me since I'm Norse. <laughs> yeah, you really. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Oh, like a, like a small, small and the green guy died. Tiny. So that means he would be dead the rest of our series. I may get a gross spurt. Did you? Did you? Did you Wait, what? Who died? The green guy. I'm terrible at this. <laughs> Oops. It's kind of amazing how bad I am at this. Nope, he survived. No! Oh! Everybody needs to get their act together. Yeah, no, he survived. Oh! Let's go over here and. I don't know, take out Blondie here. He looks important. Nope, Blondie survived. Oh! Oh man. Wow, this is a slaughter. This is like a very slow slaughter. It's like Oh yeah, I'm I have a feeling I'm gonna lose. So basically I mean... in Viking times a bar fight you would have swords and axes, so instead of people getting beat up they would be totally gone. <laughs> yeah. Tell me he's nope! Wow. Oh, he's not in the best shape. Go over here. This feels like... I mean, I really want to say... every. I mean, so far I'm really, really loving this game. The only thing I don't like right now is that the music is kind of just like really not matching Very the fact Very Viking-y that, music. Yeah, but it's not matching the fact that we're in like a fight. It's just very slow music right My now. My renown went up! Good job! Oh, ho, ho. oh he's Getting gonna feel that guy. one in the morning. Kind of feels like we're on the side of the uh, giants, though. Which, personally, I mean, even though many of the Vikings considered them good, I tend to believe the giants were kind of bad. <laughs> yeah. Man promoted him. But it is really cool to play as a giant. I'll tell you. Hi. Oops. It definitely gives you a height advantage that I can't really understand how that would feel in real life. Well, I'm behind this guy, so I should hurt him more. It's, it's my dream to be that tall. Oh no! Um, maybe I guess go over here. Oh. I have renown, so. Fear oh, me. that's you. You're the the guy in the black cape. I'm the guy in the black cape. Yep. Oh, you need to get a better weapon, but it's yeah, all right. <laughs> just. These people are just watching you kill each other. Yeah, they're having a good time. Just drinking their ale and, you know. Mead. They probably have ale there, too. I like that you're playing a Viking game. Oh, no! Oh, no! What? They slayed the giants? They slayed all my giants. Wow. Pillage! I will pillage you, fool. Oh wow, so if you go on his back, it it takes out more of his hits, I think. Oh wow. Everybody everybody's gone. You are brutal. So your giants are gone. <laughs> yep. Eric, that's a great Viking name. And Scottish name. Ah, there they are. The gods be darned. I got to go wash off this blood now. Eric is looking out the hall's windows on the boy. A fleet of longships approach with sails of bold reds and blues. One batter I know well, Vognir. Next for Varl kingship. Last we spoke, kingship. The other flag looks important. Yeah, important guess. See what I deal with all day long? Ah, things make a little more sense. You hoped I'd have a stake in saying everything's fine here when the royal guests arrived. Not me, the governor. 
Now I have to make sure that there are no rotting bodies or pools of entrails still in the Great Hall before they come by. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Can I have ask one more favor? Yes, I love this game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you happen to stall our guests down on the docks, I wouldn't object. Maybe. Maybe I will. There you go. You can be that guy. Yeah. Eric and Valgard hustle from the mead house. To his credit, Eric tosses the barkeep a spare, a spar of silver for the miss. He's just like Han Solo. You give an apologetic shrug and go to greet the new arrivals and down on the docks. Remember, Han said sorry for the mess and threw the guy a coin. Mm-hmm. He's so like hardcore. Totally. So Han Solo is a Viking. Wow, look at all those Viking ships. So anyway, guys and gals, <laughs> that does it for our uh, first 30 minutes of Banner Saga 1. I like it. <laughs> it's cool. And this is actually on Amber's Switch, so she'll probably get to play it on the plane if she wants to. Ooh. But um, thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Thanks again to the developer for sending us a copy of this game. And uh, we're probably not going to do a series on this, but you guys should check it out on the Nintendo eShop. All three games will be available sometime this year the first one is out there right now and everything that happens in this game will reflect your choices for the next game so characters will transfer over or they'll become enemies and i i am a, playing this. it's a whole viking saga so yep i'm gonna be playing this on the plane and all the time yeah but anyway guys and gals until we meet again god bless and happy gaming thanks for watching have a great rest of your day see ya